Hey, Planeswalkers, hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome, my friends, to today's episode of Tom Deck, where we are taking things on with the number one Azores control deck right now for our November season. So, Han off the press, out of the gates, we're at it and in it um, with this deck list here. So, this particular version is by our friend uh, TCS Freedom. So, congratulations on hitting number one with the deck, my friend. I'm very excited to showcase this here today, so appreciate you tuning in. Flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video. On top of that, if you have questions, if you got comments, let me know down below. Love to hear from you, or feel free to pop in the Discord server. That is in the details in the description for you, along with this deck list and the timestamps, where I will break down the strategy objective of the list. We'll cover your boarding for best of three. We're going to go play that competitive magic here today um, as well in both best of one and best of three, and then close out with a little bit of a retrospective um, on where this sits in the meta, my friend. So um, here's what we got going on. Appreciate you tuning in. Flip me that like. Great way to support the channel and stay connected and appreciate um, everything as always, Planeswalkers. So um, in terms of the key pieces of this deck, the biggest one is it's got tons of board wipes if we need it, but a Zorus Epiphany deck. So we go for those uh, lovely turns, but we have Strixhaven Stadium here as one of our key pieces. Um, this card alone is what wins a lot of games. So whenever a creature we control deals combat damage, we put a point counter on this. If it's got 10 or more counters on it, remove them all, and that player loses the game. Um, so that's pretty important there. We got stuff to remove on, and trade here on the one. Um, additionally, counterspell magic um, and removal off the board. So it's really about getting to these wipes um, and locking things in. We got Tefiri here, so we can either plus one or minus two to go dig what we need to find, um, being very, very important. We got the ability to uh, wreck things up with Field of Rune here, which is a big piece. We aren't running the Snowlands, um, so that's a big call out there. We do have Cave of the Fo Frost Dragon as well as another win condition here. So um, really about the tokens, um, in that generation to lock things in and essentially win the match, my friend. So um, late game deck, we're locking down the early game, we're locking down the mid-range game, pulling in the late game, hitting it home, um, and going from there. So that is the strategy objective of this list. Now we're going to talk about boarding. We'll break it down three ways for you here today. Uh, aggro, mid-range, and late game. Aggro decks are things like mono white. We got Boros aggro in there. We got mono green um, as well. We have some mono red decks. Uh, floating around two zombie stacks, those kinds of things. Here, what you're going to want to focus on, you can use things like Skyclave, Skyclave Apparition to remove those creatures. Um, we can also do Sunset Revelry. This is a big one for giving us those 1-1 one, one human tokens um, if we need. Devastating Mastery as well. So this removes all non-land permanents, um, which is another big one here. So that's the key pieces. Um, in terms of that deck, we can focus less on some of the control magic um, if we need to. That's a great way to kind of flip things out. Um, next, we get to mid-range. Mid-range is going to be some of the Jun treasure tokens or Jun dragons. We also have Is It Tempo or Is It Turns. That begins to kind of bridge the late game. Um, also here, we got Celestia mid-range um, and a host of other things. If you are playing against decks that are primarily focused on creatures, we'll still do what we did against aggro. If not, then we begin to look at things like Melvin Hermit, um, as well as Test the Talents to locking things out, um, and potentially Emiria's Call here. Um, last but not least, um, we go into the late game. So we got a mirror match here. We also have Dimmer Control. We got Mono Black Control. Um, I've ran into some Salt Eye stuff as well. Um, and uh, from there, you're really going to want to focus on that control magic. So the same things that we talked about here, you're going to start to consider removing things like Doomscar um, and Skyclave Apparition. And again, it's about locking your locking your opponents and protecting your board and then getting strict saving down and pounding things in. So um, that is the strategy objective of our, of our list here today, my friends. That is how we're going to board for uh, best of three. Let's go ahead now and take a look at competitive magic um, and get some of those matches underway uh, and go from there. So very excited again, number one Azores control deck. It has been popping up in the meta um, a lot more and, and making some waves uh, as well. So let's go ahead and flip that out. Oh, it's blue, we're good. Let's play that standard ranked. 
again, top 100 Golgari mid-range, lots of decks that we've done here. Let's go ahead and pull our Tip Fury. Go from here, my friend. So we're going to play our best of one matches first, then we'll get over into our best of three. Um, and truly looking forward um, to what we have going on today uh, and seeing what we can do with our lineup. Right, so if we can keep this. We'll play the planes first, we'll keep that one. Figure out what we need to do. Probably another land would have been better here for us. Um, so we'll see. Doubling up, that will give us the three. Ooh, so we have to decide here. One of each is good. That will give us the Fortel. At least protect there on that one. We got is it control here? So not hitting the land is really gonna hurt us. Oh. Wait. Huge bummer, by the way. Brixis it is. We'll let him pull. Our runes is probably gonna. Stadium Splink on. There you go. Now we still have two of those in the deck. Wait. So now we wish that would have been white. Blue. Right in there, we'll pull that. Luther. Five it is. If we can try and get away with one. I think we're gonna get card here. Painful. Super painful. Now they can play that again. Five it is. Ideally, a land wouldn't be bad. We could play Teferi. We can attack Sot coming. If we can get 
this on the board. That's a counter. Ugh. Two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. So we can block that. So we can we can counter this, um, but it's not going to help me a bunch. Honor this. Let's see if I can flush something out. Assuming they're going to kick us back. There it is. Luther. You would like those sleeves.
plenty there. Easily yet. If they have another turn, we're dead. Which all they gotta do is play it. So they can play any of these. Just too bad. Not gonna have anything that we can do here. Can't counter the spell. Still got one more in there. Super painful. They did not tap that out yet. They're still good with their control. It's very, very painful. So they keep their three. In a very bad spot here. There's that. Let's see what they play. Oh, the pain. Not gonna matter. Because all they gotta use is divide by zero again? Huh? Doesn't matter. Alright, we're not coming back. Not a good match for us when we get stuck on the lands early which is too bad. Control 
versus control is obviously very grindy um, as well. So it happens. Let's go ahead and move on to our next match here um, with our Azor's control deck. Let's see where we go for our best of one. All right, we got Dan. Oh, do it again. We can play this early though, so we'll keep it. All right, there we go. Is it control? It is now in play. Probably dragon. Oh, there at six we can take a couple turns Pushing hard on this. So. Here comes the turns. Ooh, a lot to get that off.
Now they have this. Let's destroy target artifact here. That's what I was looking for. I should have popped mine off there. A little bit better. through there. Don't think it'll be the case, but we'll try. Save the two here. Bill at that goal. Probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Just trying to keep enough open for fill the rune here. We're just not hitting the mana base that we need here as well.
cast. Oh, wait. So they'll have enough that they can cast here. Probably get me. That is the end because they get another runes and they just play their storm giant and we are tapped out. So unfortunate here today with our number one Azorus control deck. It is not holding well against the other counter magic decks. Now again, that's the one I'd probably fine tune this a little bit. Interestingly enough. We haven't hit any of the aggro stuff. Ah, we can do this. Ah. Now we hit the aggro. that after by the way after they attacked him that's the better way to do it we need all we need all we need is our lane there we go alive Hardly my Ooh. worst defeat. One, two, three, four, five.
So they just need to get around here. Not enough. To take the risk. Get the state Strixhaven Stadium down. in one direction. Oh, I missed that. Wait, one more turn. Could have double stadiums there. There you go. Awesome. They forgot about this guy. Right there. Give him a three. Let's give him one flyer. We're good. We are good. There, we took it back. From an aggro deck, my friends. Oof. All right. We still have faith. We still have faith. Maybe not the best counter magic deck, right? No, just kidding. Um, very, very exciting. All right, we'll claim that. So three best of ones, check. Let's go ahead now and we're going to play our best of three traditional standard ranked here. Again, Zorus Control. Let's go for it. By our friends. TCS Freedom. Oh, long matches. Love it. Queer FXX. Play first. We can keep this. Actually, I'll play that first. All right, looks like a control deck. We want to get one of each in. Now we'll try it. Run a risk of getting countered. Again. Probably want to double whites, but we'll see what they play. There we go. Now we got our double whites. Okay.
blue. Now, as long as they don't get a counter off here, be okay. Let's see if they trigger it. Probably have three here still. Let's see what we do. Wait. Let's see if the Dimmer deck get away with here. Yes. They're gonna take that though. Shoot. Should have buried it. Should have buried it. Now everything's tapped out, so um, that's what we needed. So now we can do this. Boom. There we go. Control D. Control. <laughs> Alright, so what do we want to do here? 
Um, this is gonna go away. These can go away. We need this, we need these, we need that. Uh, what's that give us? These can go away. Grab these. Counter, 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 counter. Draws. Done. We need to test the talents to test the talents. Oof. Not bad. See what we can do here. There we go. The mirror control. Only to play it, so...
Now the problem was I should do that before they played on the stack. Done. Lunch. Just fine. Should have played that after. Gonna got two more damage in. It's all right. Two, three, four, five. Wouldn't have been lethal. Need you at seven. Hmm. Let's figure out what we want to do here. There we go. We got it. We got it, my friends. Oh, so nice. So much control. So, so much control today. Um... And we're playing control, so very, very excited about that. Kind of bluffed, maybe a little bit on the last one, I don't know. Um, but let's go ahead. The number one Azor's control deck, taking it down here today. Best of one, we went uh, one and two. So not super good, but not terrible. Um, and then best of three, we took it down and beat a dimmer control deck, which was very nice. Pivoted real hard. Um, didn't get to see any test of talents, but Malvin Hurtman uh, certainly being one of the key pieces here. Um, Teferi holding it down too. We could have played that a little bit differently on a couple pieces, but it worked out nicely um, nonetheless. So where's this at the meta? Probably in the tier 2 space. Um, I'd say probably not as good in best of one, even though we've seen it kind of creep up. Um, it, well, and I take that back actually. Probably a little bit higher. Mid tier 2 in best of one, and primarily because of it excels against a lot of the aggro meta um, right now, which is what we've seen when we get into some of those other lockup and matchups um, can be tougher uh, if you don't have as much that control magic. Best of three, same thing. Um, doing well, a nice alternative to what's out there. And obviously this stack did hit number one. So um, Planeswalkers, if you have questions, if you have comments, as always, let me know down below. I'd love to hear it from you. Feel free to hop on the Discord server that is available to you in the description, along with uh, the deck list there, and great ways to stay connected on the channel. Appreciate your support as always. Flip me a like um, if you enjoyed today's video, and if you like the list and had some fun with us, and a lot of control magic, get a little tired, um, sleep deprived here too. So um, with that, Planeswalkers, we'll see you again soon. Stay tuned because we've got a lot more cool stuff coming your way with fast stats, um, top decks, the new Crimson Vow stuff, um, a host of things, standard historic jank, um, live stream hopefully Friday night meta and tier list. So lots of things. Stay connected. That's the best way here on the multiverse and the channel. Stay tuned for all things um, related for you. So until next time, Planeswalkers, we'll see you again soon. Mithras out.